All right, guys, welcome to Rant and Chill. Here we're going to be chilling. You know, surprise, surprise, most of these videos are chills, right? We're going to be chilling, going to be hanging out. We're going to be reacting to, you know it, it's in the title of this video, Baby Metal. No, we're actually reacting to the warning. Um, this song is Enter Sandman uh, Orchestra. Well, it has the orchestra with it. All right, well, that's interesting. Let's check it out here. And yes, this is a fan cam for those in the back, and I really don't give a damn. All right. All right, let's put this on the screen, press that play button, and get into this. Y'all ready? I'm ready. You already know. Press the like button, share, subscribe. Become a patron if you have not already. Uh, let's get going. That's cool that they have that orchestra there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. No backing track for this song. Freaking rock star. Yeah. 
I like that guitar she's using too, man. Oh man, that's so good. That's so good. So that's the warning there. I'm playing Inner Sandman, their version of Inner Sandman with orchestra. All right, let's talk about this here. Not the first time, not the last time hearing the song, right? It's a good song. I like how they made Inner Sandman their own. They changed it up. It still has the spirit of it, though. Uh, maybe Metallic fans would argue about that and all that stuff. You do hear that iconic riff, you know, the way it's played by Metallica at the end of the song. I mean, that's what people were kind of waiting for, kind of, sort of. But I do like how um, you kind of, you still hear it, but it's just kind of changed up a bit. Um, not to the point to where it loses its identity, but it, it you know, it, it's kind of, some areas are kind of, um, well, like I said, the warning made it their own. They made it very, the warning, like, there. Um, the orchestra was really cool. Uh, I I mean, I mean, like, what does what does it really do? It it gives the song more of a atmosphere. It gives it more of a, uh, it just enhances it, you know. And they could have just used the backing track, but they didn't. Um, no, they had the, I guess, the way to, they don't get the money for it, and we're like, hey, you know what? Let's let's get an orchestra here for. I, did they just use them for this one song? I mean, if you have them there, why not just use them for some other things? Could the warning do like an, uh. Uh, Metallica's S and M album, the the Symphony and Metallica, so Symphony and the Warning S W and S W album, I don't know, but you know it's kind of cool. I like it. They went all out on that. Uh, it's cool to hear those instruments live, right? Uh, stage presence that's always talked about with the Warning because they have great stage presence, right? Uh, Ali Alejandra's always moving around. Looking like a badass with that bass there. Um, the way she moves and bends and, and squats, gets low and all that stuff it is very animated, right? And when she gets on the platform, yeah, that, that, it, yeah, she, I think all attention's on her, you know. Um, but I like how they swapped sides too, uh, Allie and Danny. And uh, yeah, yeah, it was good. Good, good. I really enjoyed it. With that said, you let me know what you thought about it, okay? And uh, y'all take it easy and have a good one.